It cost a farmer somewhere a lot of money to produce that last chicken dinner you enjoyed. Heating and cooling costs are the most expensive input items a farmer has to pay for. But one farm in Coleman is hoping to dramatically reduce those costs. As Kevin Worthington tells us, they have their eyes on the skies for energy that can keep their birds comfortable. Sunny summer days typically bring hotter temperatures, meaning power bills go up as air conditioners work harder. But on this farm, sunny days mean power bills are lower. We got two houses on this farm. One of the houses we left as it is normally with power from the grid. And one house is run by the SAS system. And what's, what makes this system unique is not only are we supplying all the electrical power from the solar energy, we're also doing some additional things with some heating and some cooling using the solar power, trying to optimize the, the effectiveness and efficiency of the system. SAS stands for Standalone Solar. While harvesting energy from the sun is not new, the poultry industry hasn't embraced it because the energy needs for growing chickens varies widely during the growing period, meaning that a lot of energy could be wasted during low demand periods. We approach this challenge by looking at where else could we apply the energy, the excess. So we started looking at replacing heat, uh, which uh, propane is a big expense for farmers also, third only to electricity and water nowadays. So we naturally started looking at uh, what could we do with a, in a reasonably efficient heat pump to utilize that extra electricity. So as we get it deeper into it, we saw that we had the potential of replacing a significant percentage of the gas during a flop slide with the excess electricity running heat pumps. So here's the bottom line. This house is connected to the local electric utility. Annual power costs about $5,500. This house runs off of solar power. Annual power costs zero. Uh, commercial contract growers are are in business to make money and they always have to balance their cost and benefit on, uh, on what money they spend. So our thoughts are with this system is that their end of the year cost is going to be less but they can still grow an equally quality bird and do an equally good job. Not really seeing any difference in as far as raising the chickens. We've done pretty good on this grow out. Naturally we're only paying one utility bill versus two utility bills which in the long run will help us tremendously. This project is a year-long test to measure the feasibility of building future poultry operations off the grid. Researchers say they're making small adjustments to the system as they acquire more data. But the standalone solar system has already proven itself viable. We could add, add uh, increase the size of, of each component uh, and we could easily uh, accommodate this farm with two houses or four or six at any number by just uh, replicating and increasing the size of the components that we operate. While this project is saving the Butts Farm money today, the research taking place in these houses will benefit farmers and poultry companies for years to come. Sustainability for the future is a commitment that Tyson Foods has, has put forth. And, uh, electricity in the future is going to be one of the biggest expenses and moving forward uh, to partner with this, this group here to do this solar house uh, is going to have a big impact on how we do business in the future. Hopefully younger folks are going to stay in the poultry business naturally and if it can help them be able to, to make a better living that's going to be good for all of us because naturally if we don't grow chicken we can't eat chicken. For Simply Southern, I'm Kevin Worthington. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. You get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your quality co-op store. There's one near you. 
The versatile peanut, meat of the earth, friend of the soil, tasty, nutritious, packed with protein. And Alabama peanut farmers nourish some very special things, families, communities, and Alabama's economy. Peanuts, good for you, good for Alabama. For more Simply Southern, be sure to follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern will continue in a moment. We believe a plant should be more than a plant. This one is, it's all you need for your garden to succeed because it's a Bonnie plant. It represents hundreds of varieties of Bonnie's quality veggies and herbs. But more, it's from generations of Bonnie people who are passionate about sharing their love of gardening with you. Look for this little Bonnie plant and a whole family of plants like it in your garden center. Bonnie plants, so you'll know how to grow. <laughs> 